Morning, Phoebes. Hi, darling. How are you getting on? Is it good to be home? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's just weird. Yeah, it is. I mean, you haven't been home since your parents passed. Have you had anything from Kane? Nothing. Well, he does do this to you, though, doesn't he? I guess it just goes with his work. Hmm. What? It's nothing. I don't know, it just feels different. I keep having these weird dreams and I think it's just messing with me a bit. What dreams? April. Oi. Sorry. Just having one of them days. My head's all over the place. Well, it will be. I mean, you both just lost your parents. I mean, I'm surprised you can go out of bed. Yes, thank you. Classic. Look, I need to head off for the day. I'll chat to you in a bit. Okay, well, have a good one. Welcome home. What a fucking day, eh? Yeah. You alright? What do you think? Yeah. Same. I think I'm gonna go away for a while. I have to head off for a bit as well. How long for this time? Days, weeks, a month, four months? No clue. When you're done, maybe you can meet me. Go travelling together like we said we would. <laughs> that, mate. Sounds perfect. now infected. The red flu has put the country into chaos. The government under immense pressure to get the situation under control. The Prime Minister has withdrawn forces from the Ukrainian-Russian border, saying the health service, while struggling to cope with the red flu emissions, desperately need the help. The United Nations has condemned this act from the Prime Minister, saying, Kingdom has left Ukraine open to invasion. As tensions between Russia and the West continue to rise. The Vatican's nearly formed military branch is also sending troops to help aid Kingdom. Remember, if someone you know could be infected, please re of the red flu and rioting. Rumors have appeared that the rioting and the pathogen are linked, causing people to act violent and deranged. Religious groups around the world are saying these are the end of times. Hence, why all of a sudden the Vatican military have now emerged, helping and advising governments around the world. So you were kind. Oh, hi Phoebe. How was your morning? Yeah, good thanks, hon. Brilliant, fantastic. All the best. Sorry, Phoebe. How are you? I'm great, hon. But you sound like shit. Yeah, I, I haven't been sleeping so good. Where the fuck is he, Phoebe? Still not heard anything. I wouldn't stress, honestly, with everything going on in the world, he's probably just busy. Busy in his line of work isn't good, Phoebe. Abel, hey, well, do I need to come up? You're really starting to worry me. What? No, sorry, I just thought I heard something. Honestly, Phoebe, I'm good. I don't think you are, mate. Look, trust me, okay? If I need anything, I'll give you a call, alright? Promise me. Promise. Look, I'll, I'll chat to you later. Alright, well, make sure you do. Bye.
contact with blood and other bodily fluids. The virus Why is being made people uncontrollably violent. When asked, a White House spokesman declined to comment on whether or not this was a terrorist attack. Due to the violent nature of the ones infected, the virus is spreading rapidly. Government officials are reporting that there is no known cure for the virus and is urging citizens to stay in their homes and avoid contact. Citizens are also urged to lock their doors, windows, and any other point of entry. You still avoid this? Uh, yeah. Do your serve, take a chance. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. Bye bye. Seventeen hundred hours today, I gave the order for armed forces to take England and all vessel states into martial law. The decision wasn't made lightly, but the growing death toll of the red flu and now confirmed by our Vatican advisers, this isn't a normal virus. Infestation, oppression, and possession. These are said to be the three stages of the red flu. Infestation is the whispering you don't think is there. The constant state of fear, which turns into oppression. The virus starts to get more aggressive, slowly cutting you off from reality, making you more violent, until it has you with the last and final stage of possession. <laughs> the demonic forces are taking you over completely. Oh, fuck this. Let me make this very clear. We are at war. The enemy could be any. Your wife, your best friend, or even your child. If you know anyone affected or showing signs, please report them to your local block and military checkpoint. Thank you.
many names through the centuries. But you can call me Kane. That is my name, no? Kane is dead. Do I look dead to you? Fuck you. No, fuck you! Are you going to say anything or just stand there? Why are you doing this? You know why I came. I suppose I should thank you, really. If it wasn't for you, none of this would be possible. How does it feel, starting this war? Fuck you. I really do wish people would stop saying that to me. Just leave me. No! No! You don't get to give me orders here! Now sit down, down Kane. Kane. Good. Good. You should feel privileged, you know. I like to keep you. I can just snap you in the way. We wouldn't want that now, would we? We both know that's not true. I never said yes. You can't take me over completely. Hence why I'm still here. You think I need your permission? You think you can control me? I, I am you. This is all just a game to me. I will rip everything from you until it's just me and you. Unless. Unless what? I lied. I do need you to say yes. Accept me and all of this will stop. I will walk out of here and leave him alone. So much more at stake here. Like what came, hmm? You already got us the book. The red flu is slowly infesting the world. More and more of us take control. Nothing, nothing you can do can stop this. The war has already begun. I'll tell you what. I'll let you say goodbye. Say goodbye to your brother and then you can rest. You are tired, aren't you, Kate? Tired of all this, I will walk out of here and I will leave him alone. You have my word. You'll be safe. Oh, yeah. I promise. Now say it. Say yes. Fine. Yes. Abel. Abel, wake up. Wake up. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's me. I'm me. Stay away! Abel, please. I don't have long. You are not my fucking brother. Listen to me, Abel. You're safe now. He said it's okay. You're okay. You said what? You shut up. Shut up. Just get on the okay. ground. Okay. Look. Doing what you say. Just please. Listen to me. I swear. It's me. Do you remember all your kids? I used to get these really bad nightmares about a witch outside the window. I'd get up out of bed and I'd shout, Get out of here, witch! Mum and Dad would come in and start moaning at me for being loud, but I wouldn't care. Because I wanted to protect you. I wanted to protect my brother. I wish we could go back home. Away from all this chaos and demons. And away from all this shit. Why did you leave me? You weren't here. Mum and Dad died and you left me. I had no one came. All I wanted was my brother back, but you fucking died. I wish I could change things, I really did. I miss you all so much. I know, mate. waiting for John.
so yeah. There were complications. What kind of complications? Priest. Dion. <laughs> 